you know, one of the true, you know, skills of masculinity is being able to be calm in situations. You know, for me, dealing with women a lot of times, it's hard because, uh, see, what we gotta understand, a lot of times women do things to test us. And a lot of times we're, we're showing that we're insecure about something, we're worried, we're anxious. And a lot of times, Y'all might not even know it, but when you give off that vibe, women can pick that up. When they sense an insecurity or a weakness, they, they kind of start to lose respect for you because you're no longer being confident. It's like when you're in school and, and somebody is picking on you, right, or talking about you, and, and you start to engage with it. Well, what's gonna happen is that person, that bully, quote unquote, is gonna keep on going at you and going at you until you're confident enough to know, hey, I know my worth and that's not gonna bother me. That happens a lot with women because women are very hot and cold, right? It's kind of like, I heard somebody say it's like the weather, right? You don't wake up and get mad at the weather because it's raining, right? That's just the weather, right? Some days it's gonna be sunny, some days it's gonna be rainy, some days it's gonna be the hurricane, whatever, whatever, right? Th that's the way women are. So a lot of times we get mad and frustrated because women do these different things and we start getting in our feelings, we get sad and we get upset but the key is to stay calm with, within it all. You know, it's crazy because sometimes some of this stuff is, I ain't gonna lie, some of this is hard to articulate, but when it comes with women, you you can never play their game. You have to play your own game. And this is no shot against women, but meaning that you gotta be confident in who you are. And a lot of times we feel like how women is feeling is a direct reflection of something that we did. So a lot of times a woman can do something or maybe she's not as excited to see you or whatever and you think you did something wrong so now you're, you're showing how insecure that you really are and again women are very intuitive so they pick up on that and this is the thing that held me back for so many years because you know i didn't understand that women's feelings fluctuate so i didn't i don't know how to handle that so i'm fluctuating with them when you're a masculine man you remain calm, you remain stoic, you remain confident. This, because what you'll realize is, when you started to deal with that woman, man, you started all off confident, you, you was uh, focused on your craft, you was in the gym all the time, but as you hang out with her more and more, you start to become less confident, you, you wanna cuddle all the time, you just wanna see her, you didn't cut off all your friends, and that's what happens to a lot of us. And now, you, you start to fear certain things, or maybe you're trying to control the situation and she can pick up and sense that, you, that you're that um, you you're trying to lock her down. You don't feel good about yourself. You need her to validate you. And again, women are intuitive, so they pick up on it quicker than you gonna pick up on it. That's a and fact. You know, the point of me saying all this is like a lot of times us men, we get in our feelings. That's, with the, that's the woman's department. We get in our feelings and therefore, she has to now be the man in the situation. And that's when you start getting the attitude and different things like that. And that's why you have to all, see when you're remaining calm, you're able to see what's going on in a situation. But when you're not calm and you're in your feelings, that's when you start to self-sabotage yourself and you overthink. You know, you're like, dang man, she did this, so let me, that's when you do all of that. That's why you have to remain calm and pay attention to people's actions because when you move off emotions, and you move off your insecurities, that's when the problems start to come because women, they pick up on that like a shark sense in blood. That's a fact. That's why the best thing to do is to work on those insecurities. That's why I promote therapy on here. Talking to your friends, seeking help, working on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Spending time alone, learning how to love yourself, learning how to have self-respect. Those things are important because when you're around women, those things, women know how to bring those things out. They're very good at that. And a lot of us men, we struggle with that. that th this is literally my biggest struggle. I would lose my confidence with women. And that's what will mess me up. And then also too, when you're losing your confidence, naturally you're gonna self-sabotage yourself. That's why it's important to keep your energy on point regardless of what she's doing. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, that, that's the biggest thing and that's where most men mess up. You start to pay attention too much to her feelings and how she's acting, and you start to mirror how she's acting. Now, yes, you should mirror a woman's energy in the sense of her actions. If she's not reciprocating, you shouldn't be reciprocating, but in the sense of her feelings fluctuating, maybe she, when she comes to the crib, she's not as happy to see you. That doesn't mean you should be all in your feelings. You keep the same energy. 
It's about remaining calm and stoic and letting the storm pass. It will pass through. But again, it's all about focusing on yourself, focusing on your craft, focusing on your mindset. A lot of us men that chase women, we, we if you got the woman you wanted, you wouldn't even be able to keep her. Because you don't feel good about yourself, your insecurities will come to surface. But guess what? What you gotta understand is everybody in this world got insecurities. A lot of people in this world don't feel good about themselves. So you gotta understand nobody's perfect. No human is perfect. But when you show a woman that you that you um, your insecurities are holding your back, holding you back, you're gonna get exposed. Because again, women are very intuitive. They have like a sixth sense. They can they can sniff it a mile away. They know when you finna be thirsty. They know when you when you about to self sabotage yourself, and there's no coming back from it. They lose that respect for you. It's over. And again, a lot of these things that I'm talking about, it takes experience. That's why I'm able to articulate it to you guys because it's something that I've been through a million times to a point where I've kind of mastered it. I don't let a woman, how she's moving, I don't let that fluctuate my feelings. I remain stoic, I remain calm because I believe in myself. A lot of times, man, a woman, uh, they'll pick at you. Like, how you remember when, like, when we was kids and like we talked about earlier and y'all roasting and you joning? A lot of times girls will do that, women will do that in their own way and you will get offended. But instead, to me, I play, I play along with it. <laughs> I'll play along with it, whatever. If she makes a smart comment or whatever it is, I'm not going to get offended because when a woman sees you get offended, that, that, that screams out insecurity. You feel insecure about something. And now she's gonna keep poking at it. The same way a bully goes at somebody that's weaker than them. They're going at them because they're entertaining it. If you show a woman that you're bothered by it, she's gonna keep going at you. That's why it's very important to remain calm, remain stoic, and focus on yourself. All right, I appreciate you guys as always, man. Um, shout out to all my new subscribers, guys. Guys, make sure you continue to like, the comment. Also, make sure you continue to share as well, guys.